All right, good evening. We open with a rivalry game on Hoops 8 as a pair of 6-1 and one teams going at it as Deering traveling to Chevrolet tonight on Ocean Avenue. Opening of the third, Manny Chikuda gets it downtown. He had 14, or rather the lead extended to 14. He had 12. Jack Casal, the guard who can post. That's a nice move inside. He had 23. Then Casal in transition, and Chevrolet cuts that Deering lead to 10. That's as close as it gets. Raphael Salamone inside. Caveman strong, the basket, and one. He led Deering with 19. End of the third, Deering attacking the glass. James Sinclair, he's making a pitch to be the sixth man of the year. Coming off the bench, at the buzzer, tips it in. Then off the steal, Chikuder to Ben Onick for two. Deering impressive tonight, 67-48, they are seven and one. Scarborough hosting unbeaten Thornton Academy. Trojans starting with a fast break. Austin Boudreau to John Fogg for the lay-in. 7-0 run to start the game for Thornton Academy. Reese Lagerquist working the post for the Red Storm, using the glass. The Trojans way too much, especially inside. David Cohan, the hoop and the foul. He had 13. Then Evan Christensen finishes on the break. He had 23. 74-51. Thornton is 7-0. Wyndham hosting Gorham tonight in a rivalry game. We go to Gorham. Logan Druin had it going tonight. The floater in traffic for Gorham. He had 20. Rams down six in the fourth. Wyndham, though, starts to pull away. Nick Curtis, he's the point guard. What's he doing inside like that? Doing what he does. He had 24. The nice put back, and then Curtis drives and dishes to Deerhole Bowl for the basket. Then Curtis kicking it out to Mike Gilman, who had 20. 66-55, the Eagles win their five and three. Oxford Hills traveling to Bonnie Eagle tonight for the Vikings. Matthew Fleming, ooh, the finesse tip in. He had 19. Then Chris St. Pierre extending the defense. Yeah, from way downtown. Zach Maturo, Bonnie Eagle, give him the gap, and he's going to find a way to the rim, and he does. But let's salute the post move of the night. Atreyu Keniston. This is right out of the McHale book. The up and under move, and one. 58 45, Oxford Hills, the road win. All right, three and four in the Beef South. Heel point standing, Spruce Mountain at Gray. For Spruce, Austin Darling to Andrew Shaw inside. Gray, though, pulls even. John Martin, the catch and release from the corner. The Phoenix, though, start to shred the zone. Noah Preble inside to Shaw for two more. They led by three after three. Gray down seven in the fourth. Martin added again another three. This time, the friendly bounce. They're down four. But Darling goes to work. The stop and start, and then the floater. Spruce Mountain wins at 61-49. The Spruce is on the loose. They're seven and one. Poland visiting Greeley tonight for the Rangers. Nick Govan, the nice lob to Evan Wood. The mid-air finish, how about that? Poland got 17 points from Curtis Layton. The three here, but it was all Greeley. 80 to 64, Ryan Pritchell 22 for the 8-0 Rangers. State championship football rematch in Brunswick tonight. Kenny Bunk visiting Brunswick for the Dragons. Quick start, Kyle Hansen draining the long jumper. Wait a minute, that's not a long jumper. This is a long jumper, Nate Benoit. You need to call that. You break it, you buy it. Off glass for Kenny Bunk. Trip Bush, the switch, but it wasn't enough. 59-32 Brunswick to victory. Marshwood making the trip north, or north to Cape Elizabeth tonight, that is. Hawks jump out to a first quarter lead. Ben Beers working the glass, and it pays off. He had 14 for the Hawks. Then the defense steps up. Cole McDaniel the steal. Jacob Perry gives it back to him for the basket. Capers in transition. David Hare to Finn Bovey. What a night he had, 26. Then Marshall Peterson, the quick look to Andrew Hartle. 63-54, Cape the win there at York next week. Biddeford at home taking on Mount Ararat. Deshaun Cromwell gets things going with the nice put back at the end of the first quarter. Tigers were up eight. Biddeford starts to pull away in the second. Kyle Norton going to the hoop. He had nine, a balanced attack for Biddeford tonight. Then Austin Dutremble, the corner jumper. He had nine, too. Patrick Pearl added 12. Bitterford wins at 63 to 30. The Tigers are four and three. Our one more hoops note, Taylor Schilderoth of George Stevens Academy, 61 points tonight in a win over Lee. All right, to the girls. Scarborough trying to stay unbeaten, taking on Thornton Academy. Alex Hart on the fast break for TA. They're up four, she had 17. Scarborough goes on a run though. Sophie Glidden off the scramble, the jumper. What a year she's had so far. Then Brooke Malone ahead to Lindsey Kelly for the hoop and the foul of the Red Storm take the lead. Fourth quarter, T.A. trying to hand Scarborough's first loss. They go up by one, Tori Labby the basket. But Kelly with the answer at the other end, she had nine. Red Storm take the lead. Then Malone inside, she had nine as well. 41-39, Scarborough the win. They are 6-0. Oh. 
Gorham hosting its neighbor, Wyndham, tonight. Michelle Rowe kicking it inside to Mackenzie Holmes. She makes it look easy. That's 20 points for Mackenzie on the night. Then Rowe, a terrific play here, loses the ball, but still tips it ahead to Emily Esposito, who makes the baseball pass to Holmes for two. Esposito had 23. Gorham wins at 69 to 32. They are 7 0. Lewiston traveling to take on South Portland and the Red Riots. Morgan Eliason making things happen for the Blue Devils. The steal and the lay in. The Blue Devils an early lead on the road. For the Red Riots, Lydia Henderson goes inside to Katie Whitmore. The mean up fake and the foul. Need more Whitmore, you get it. Maggie Whitmore, the freshman with the steal. She goes coast to coast. 53 38, South Portland with the victory tonight over Lewiston. All right, Kenny Bonk hosting Brunswick. Madeline Sir starts things off for the Dragons. She hits the three. Then the Dragons decide to go inside to pad the lead. Aiden Sachs for two. The nice move in the paint. Rams respond. Gabby Fogg spots up in the corner, and she's going to drill the three. Then, hey. First time, let's try it again. Fogg, another three. She had 14, but Sir responds at the other end. She had 11. 51 47. Brunswick wins it in overtime. They are 5 and 2. Big B South matchup. Yarmouth hosting Lincoln Academy. Clippers by six late and some nice passing. Sarah Diapolonia to Clementine Blaschke. That's going to be two. Clippers extend the lead to eight. The other way, Bree Wager. She goes strong. Lincoln down six with just about two to play. But Yarmouth again, some nice passing. Diapolonia to Allison Clark. This would seal it. 47 36. The Clippers win. Miranda Cook visiting Freeport. Reagan Lynch part of the game plan for the Falcons. They go right to her early on. The nice move for two. For the Black Bears, Lauren Clough, nice move. The floater in, it's going to drop. The Falcons, though, just too disruptive on defense tonight. Jesse Driscoll, the junior, picks it off. 56-27, Freeport the win. Up north, undefeated Hamden facing off with Brewer. Ian McIntyre, a big game inside for the Broncos. He had 20. 65-54, Hamden the win. The Broncos are 8-0 on the year. All right, let's finish up with the Celtics.